Hey all and welcome back to another build guide. In this tutorial I'll step you through building your own working street lights. I'll also show you possible ways of using Woodland Scenic's Just Plug light system to power your homemade lights. So let's get started. The light shade is simply made using bag feet. You can find these at most craft stores. The tabs that protrude out from the bag feet can be forcefully removed with pliers. Then you'll need to punch or drill a hole in the top and do your best to get it centred. I keep filing until the LED fits snugly without going completely through the hole. The base of the lampshade looks a little untidy. By sanding it down you can remove the lip and get a nice clean edge. Now it's just a matter of gluing the LED into the shade and I've found superglue gel to work well when gluing plastic and metal together. The terminals from the LED are going to make up part of the street light structure. Bend the LED terminals to the shape you want for the supporting arms. The only precaution when bending the wires is to avoid making too many changes because like any piece of wire, the more you bend it, the weaker the wire becomes and it will eventually break off. For the light pole, I chose 2.4mm styrene. The hole in the centre is 1mm. I chose an average height of around 9cm tall in HO scale, which equates to about 7.8m. The great feature with styrene really shows when it comes to cutting. Simply score the area you want to cut and snap it free. This is very handy as you will see later. To mount the lamp itself you'll need to drill two holes very carefully into the pole. And to make it easier to get the wires through the hole later, drill it on an angle. This wire is 0.4mm insulated wire. You'll need a small bend at the end so it pushes out through the hole at the top. It can be difficult but with a little bit of patience and some trial and error you should get it. For the lamp, trim the LED wires so it protrudes out from the pole at the length you want. I trim mine down to 1.6mm. Before soldering you may need to file the insulation away from the wire depending on which wire you use. It's almost impossible to see but it's definitely there. Now we just need to solder the wires on. If you're wondering what that putty looking stuff is, it's called blue tack and it does a magnificent job of holding everything in place while I solder the wires. Now I'm not great at soldering so I file down any excess solder to make it look neat and tidy then pull the wires so the LED wires fit snug into the pole and fix it in place with some super glue gel. Here is where I'm glad I used styrene. I decided to add some detail by increasing the size of the base. The way styrene snaps clean enabled me to cut it without damaging the wires. The base is optional, but I feel it adds a little interest to an otherwise pretty ordinary looking light pole. If you plan to power this with a 9 or 12 volt power supply, you'll need a resistor. This one is a 5200 ohm resistor and I plan to use it with the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lights so I can easily dim the light to my desired level. For painting, be sure to test that the light works. I decided to make mine look somewhat wooden and painted it with burnt umber. I painted the top of the LED black to prevent light leakage and then go over it with grey. You may need a few coats to ensure no light leaks through the top of the LED.
options for connecting it to the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lighting system would be either to use the Woodland Scenics Nano LEDs like I've used here. Additionally, for your own homemade lights like the one I just made, you can purchase the connecting cables from Woodland Scenics which will give you two plugs. Then just simply connect your light to one of the plugs. For more news, tips and articles, check out BoulderCreekRailroad.com. I post updates and give you a chance to suggest what's next as well. Cheers and thanks for watching.